Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to discuss about what happened in on 29th of January, J may shift to especially in your topic that is called as mathematics, one of the, I know one of the most important subject that is going to cover a lot of marks of your maths and yes we are going to discuss this topic now. Now I know this is not a topic first of all it is your paper and this paper was very important tha, 30 marks ka. if I talk about how was this shift this shift was very simple it was easy in compared to your shift 1 okay it was easy it was light it was not at all difficult one so to score the marks in this is going to be quite simple because some of the questions were like uh, can be done in within some uh, I would say minutes or something like Many questions can be done within uh, 60 seconds and 70 seconds as well. So that means 4 marks were there in your hand within some minutes. So obviously it's going to be easy. Okay. So if I just continue and if I just begin with the lesson, it's going to be a speed 2x lesson. So please be very alert while I'm going to solve the question. Some of the calculation I can just leave it for you people to solve it and you can just write your answers in the comment box. If you have any doubt, you can still... Uh, just tell me your answers in the comment box and I will reply as soon as I will able to see your messages. Let's get continue and let's come and understand the motivational quote. So yes, the same motivational quote that I have shown you in the morning video and that is education is a passport of your future. Okay, so let's go and let's start with it. A most easy, easy, very easy question. Find the remainder when 64 ki power 32 ki whole power 32 is divided by 9. Just write this expression as 1 plus 63 ki whole power 32 into 32 divided by 9. So what would be that? I know that is 9 into 7 is 63 basically. So it will got cancel out. Now we are just left with 1 ki power 32 into 32. So what is the remainder? Remainder is going to be 1 and that was your answer. Ye question is question tha, that no one is going to even pick up the pen and solve it. It was just like that. A very direct question. Okay. The next question is find the probability that the number is selected from 1 to 50 such that the number is divisible by at least 4, 6 or 7. A very simple question one more time. If I just make three sets like this and if I just say that this set is going to represent four this set is going to represent six and this set is going to represent seven so it is asking ki mere paas kya probability hai to select the number from 1 to 50 such that the number is divisible by at least one of them at least ka kya matlab hai ya to isse, ya to isse uh, divisible ho ya isse divisible ho ya isse divisible ho it can be divisible by more than one. That means isse bhi divisible ho sakta hai, isse bhi ho sakta hai, isse bhi ho sakta hai, isse bhi ho sakta hai. That means if I just want, can I just find this full part? So what would be that? Basically what we have to find? We just have to find A union B union C. And humne class 11th mein hi iska formula padh liya tha. And that formula was N of A plus N of B. Or you can just write P as well, okay. Plus N of C minus n of a intersection b minus n of b intersection c minus n of c intersection a and plus n of a intersection b intersection c so that would be as i know mujhe decimal mein answer nahi chahiye because obviously hum ek 1 to 50 ke beech mein select karna hai and we just have to take the integers only so i will just write the answers in greatest integer functions so that would be n of a that is 50 divided by a kya tha 4 I am just taking this as A this as your B and this as your C plus B would be your 50 divided by C sorry 50 divided by 6 plus 50 divided by 7 minus for intersection just take the LCM of these two okay so that would be 50 divided by 4 and 6 ka LCM kya hoga 12 minus 50 divided by uh, now 6 or 7 ka LCM kya hoga 42 minus 50 divided by now we have to just take the lcm of your 4 and 7 that is 28 and plus now in subka intersection that is in lcm of 4 6 and uh, 7 so that is going to be your if i just take the lcm for these two so 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 so 21 21 42 okay it's going to be somehow greater than 50 also so it's going to be zero itself like because obviously what decimal may I go zero point something is going to come to zero back so no need to solve it 
जस्ट सॉल्व दिस पार्ट ओके सो फिफ्टी को फोर से डिवाइड कर लेते सो इट इज़ गोइंग टू गिव मी समवेयर ओके लेट जस्ट डू द कैलकुलेशन ट्वेल्व इट्स गोइंग टू गिव मी एट इट्स गोइंग टू गिव मी योर सेवन माइनस फोर माइनस वन माइनस वन प्लस जीरो सो जस्ट डू दिस कैलकुलेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन माइनस six basically so the answer is 21 and since we just have to find the probability so it is going to be 21 over 50 and that is going to be your correct answer i hope that everyone must have got this answer only this was a simple question there was nothing like the concept which i would say it was for jee means it was simply your deleted slips of class 11th and it was a easy question to be solved now uh, i would say it was not that much easy but yeah it was not that much difficult As well, if I talk about J main slivers, area bounded by zero less than equals to x less than equals to three and zero less than equals to y less than equals to minimum of two x plus two and x square plus two is A. Then twelve A is basically we just have to find the area and we have to multiply it by twelve. Now, it's just a matter of math. It's just a matter of math. I love you and you love me. I love you and you love me. So now y would be equals to x square plus two. So that means your graph is going to be something like this. ये point क्या बन जाएगा आपका? This point is going to be your basically zero comma two. Similarly, draw this graph. Uh, I think सबको ही draw करना आ जाएगा. When your x is zero, so your y is two. तो यही same point है. And when your y is zero, so x will be that. Okay, it's okay. Uh, just equate them also so that we can just find the intersection point. So it is going to be your somewhere x square minus two x is equals to zero. So x okay. So it's going to be x is equals to zero and two. Okay. So that means one point is this, and the other point that is going to be uh, the intersection of these two line. Okay. So like this, the graph is going to appear. One upper point ये होगा. It would be your two basically for x. यहाँ पे टू है और हमें कहाँ तो जाना है हमें थ्री तक जाना है सो लेट्स टेक दिस एज थ्री सो व्हाट इट मींस बेसिकली इट मींस कि हमारा जो शेडिंग वाला पार्ट है वो क्या है वो ये पूरा पार्ट है ओके दिस फुल पार्ट इज शेडेड फॉर अस और हमें इसी का क्या निकालना है हमें इसी का ही एरिया निकालना है सो हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द एरिया फॉर दिस नाउ इट्स वेरी सिंपल टू फाइंड द एरिया फॉर दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जीरो से टू एंड विच पार्ट इज गोइंग टू कट जस्ट मेक अट एंगल लाइक दिस सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी दिस कर्व So curve is your x square plus two. So since we can see that x square plus two is, and this is my zero to two, this thing is defined here into dx. Okay, I hope it's clear. And from two to three, that is this much part. It's going to be basically your just this line, and this line represent two x plus two. Just do the derivative, and you will get the answer. It is one of the easiest question I would say that J uh, paper can have it. And I'm just going to leave it like this. I hope that you people can easily solve it. I'm don't. I'm not going to waste my time on such questions. Okay. So now please solve it yourself. It was easy to solve. Now moving ahead, it is just a simple calculation, nothing much. Now moving ahead, move towards your next question. So let cos two sine inverse x is equals to one by nine, where x is greater than zero, holds true for x equals to M upon n, where m and n are co-primes. Further, alpha and beta, okay, alpha and beta are also involved. Are the roots of the quadratic equation m x square minus n x minus m plus n equals zero, where alpha is greater than beta. Then point alpha comma beta lies on the line this, okay. यहाँ पे options मैंने अपनी मर्जी से लिखे थे because I didn't receive any of the options from my kids. I just received this questions. तो मैंने इस question का ही इसलिए basically answer दूँगी. Options आप लोग खुद match कर लीजिएगा. I'm not sure about the options, okay. So the question is, cos two sine inverse x is equals to one by nine. So basically, let's uh, let us assume that let us assume that your uh, sine inverse x is equals to theta. So I will get from here cos two theta is equals to one upon nine. I can just use one formula is one minus two sine square theta is equals to one upon nine. Just simplify it. Okay. If I just simplify, okay, I can just do one more thing over here. That is two, and it would be sine. And what was your theta? Theta was sine inverse theta. Sorry, sine inverse x. 
whole square is equals to 1 over 9 so if i just simplify it i will be left with 1 upon 1 minus 2x square is equals to 1 upon 9 now simplify it so it would be 8 upon 9 is equals to x square if i'm not wrong okay 2 also cancel 4 so basically your answer for x is going to be your 2 upon 3 so we got the value of x basically and if x was equals to m upon n so that means your m upon n is we obtain m is 2 and n is 3 let's put this value over here i'm just solving it with a red pen please anyone uh, just look carefully so that would be your 2x square minus 3x minus 2 plus 3 uh, if i'm not wrong minus 2 plus 3 that is going to be your plus 1 is equals to 0 so i can just do one thing that is 2x square minus 2x minus x plus 1 is equals to 0 so just take your 2x common and you are left with x minus 1 just take minus 1 as common x minus 1 is equals to 0 so from here i will get x is equals to 1 and x is equals to 1 by 2 now since it was given that alpha kya hai? greater hai beta se so alpha is obviously going to be greater so alpha is this and beta is this i obtain my value of alpha and beta then points alpha beta lies on the line so ab kuch bhi nahi karna hai just keep the value of alpha and beta in this equation and jo bhi satisfy karega that is going to be your answer i think it can be easily done now yes then bilkul bhi without nahi hona chahiye it is very easy to obtain okay because mere paas dono points hai alpha kya hai basically alpha represents my x and beta represents my y so just replace your x with 1 and just replace your y with 1 by 2 whichever equation from this option is going to be satisfied that is going to be your answer okay if i just see if i'm not wrong uh, 5 into 1 is 5 plus 4 okay 9 okay if it would be 9 over there then it's going to satisfy the answer okay so i think this option will be 9 hoga. that is the correction has to be done because bachcho ne option nahi so i have just written any random options uh, done i hope it must be clear till here now we're going to move ahead yeah this is one of the most i would say the lengthiest question this is going to take at least your five to six minutes yes it it was lengthy it was uh, not difficult it was lengthy and here if you don't approach it you can do it difficult bhi ho sakta tha. so what i have done uh, how i have solved this question let's examine that first of all so if alpha and beta are the roots of the equation x square minus root 6x plus 3 where imaginary beta is less than 0 and if this condition is given so we just have to find what is uh, alpha plus beta plus n uh, if i'm not wrong it would be find a plus b plus n okay basically we have to do like that sorry if, uh, it would not be alpha and beta i think uh, so what would be that now so uh, let's solve it out first of all let's simplify this so it would be just apply the quadratic uh, uh, that quadratic formula and you will get your answer so that would be root 6 plus minus root of 6 minus 4ac that is 12 upon 2 so this would be root 6 plus minus iota root 6 upon 2 so i can just rewrite this as root 6 upon 2 1 plus minus iota so we can just let your alpha as your root 6 upon 2 1 plus iota and your beta as root 6 upon 2 1 minus iota now to simplify just do alpha square and just also find beta square i hope whosoever is solving with me please please whosoever is watching this video please please uh solve with me if you are solving the question with me then obviously you will be able to crack the question more easily okay and even you are going to get uh, a more exact answer that where you were doing the wrong thing or where you were going wrong so please follow my method for solve along with me only so that you can also see that in which part you are going low now let's move ahead it is going to be let's find alpha square so it's going to be six upon four and it's going to be uh, basically if i'm just simplify this so one minus one cancel out we are just left with two iota and over here it would be six upon four minus two iota so cancel out three upon two cancel out it is basically three iota cancel it out it is basically minus 3 iota this is what i received till now now let's simplify this part so this would be 
alpha 99 take the lcm beta 99 upon beta so that is going to be basically your just take it in a form of square so alpha into alpha that would be 98 so 2 ki whole power i would say 49 plus beta into beta ki power square into 49 upon beta so that would be alpha and now what is your alpha square that is your 3i49 plus beta 3i with the minus obviously 49 upon beta i'm just solving it over here with blue pen so now that part would be your okay let's solve with me so first of all 3i 49 is going to be common and what i'm left with basically i'm left over here with a uh, alpha minus beta upon beta okay so i'm left with this part now how to find alpha minus beta so we can just find alpha minus beta from here itself it's not going to be that difficult i hope yeah it, we can just simplify it so alpha minus beta uh, let me just see that what i have done over here to obtain my answer easily okay i have just done the same steps i have just find it alpha minus beta nothing else so root 6 upon 2 let's take that as common so 1 plus iota minus 1 plus iota so minus 1 minus 1 cancel it is going to be 2 iota it's also going to get cancelled so we are just going to be left with root 6 into iota i think that is yeah i got the same answer so 3 iota 49 and it would be root 6 iota upon now what is your b and b was your root 6 upon 2 1 minus iota so root 6 root 6 cancel just rationalize it and you will get your answer i'm just solving it over here so it would be 3 i ki power 49 and uh, then it would be basically uh, i upon okay let's take 2 as well and 1 minus iota so let's rationalize it so 1 minus iota square into uh, and that would be your 1 plus iota so it would be 2 and 2 cancel so what i am basically left with okay so i am simply left with 3 ki power 49 uh, iota into iota ki power 49 so what is iota ki power 49 that is iota into iota ki power 48 now it's even if i just cut it by 4 okay so it's going to give me plus 1 i can just leave it as it is 1 plus iota into iota because 1 iota left as it is and that's it so i got this right now uh it's not fully simplified if i see i can just solve it further on uh yeah i can just uh, solve it further on and if i see there is one more iota over here and one more iota over here so it's going to be iota square okay because iota uh, i have just written iota ki power 48 into iota and one iota was already there so iota square okay so that is going to be 3 ki power 49 with a minus sign so that is going to be minus 1 minus iota now you can easily obtain your a b and n so that would be i can just simply write i'm just writing the answer by black pen so my answer is going to be that a is equals to minus 1 b is equals to minus 1 and n is equals to your 49 and it was asking a plus b plus n so that is 49 minus 1 minus 1 that is 40 7 that was your answer and sorry i just have gone a little slow in this question i was saying you that it is a lengthy one so that's why i, I think i got stuck because even the page was very hodgepodge uh, it was very really difficult for me to understand that where i have to write so basically i will just recall first of all i just obtained my alpha and beta then i obtained my alpha square beta square after obtaining alpha square beta square then i have solved the given expression when I solve the given expression, I just proceed further on and I solve alpha minus beta. Once I solve alpha minus beta, then my main aim, okay, this is, yeah. So then my main aim was to simplify this iota ki power 49, which I wrote it as iota into iota ki power 48. Iota ki power 48 is positive 1. So iota square because iota and iota got multiplied and form iota square basically. And then rationalize it and then I just solve it in this form. I got my value of n as 49, a as minus 1 and b as minus 1. When I compare this part 
with this part okay and that's how i got my answer i hope the concept is very much clear to every one of you now moving ahead a very simple a very simple very simple question it can be done uh, i can say in 2 minutes hardly it's a simple one so in integral of minus pi by 6 pi by 3 root of 1 minus sin 2x dx so first of all can i just rearrange this and can i just write pi by 6 it was positive pi by 6 i must have written it by chance and pi by 3 so i can just rewrite my 1 as root of sin square x plus cos square x minus 2 sin x cos x dx so this would be basically your pi by 6 say pi by 3 root of sin x minus cos x का होल स्क्वायर डी एक्स स्क्वायर एंड रूट कैंसिल आउट नाउ आई नो बहुत बच्चों ने गलती कर दी होगी आपने इंक्रीजिंग और डिक्रीजिंग का कॉन्सेप्ट देखा ही नहीं होगा यू नो कि आपको जो साइन एक्स है कॉस एक्स है वो रेसिप्रोकली रोटेट करते हैं ना एक दूसरे के एक ये ग्राफ है सो दूसरा ये वाला ग्राफ होता है बेसिकली बिकॉज यू नो वट इज़ योर साइन जीरो दैट इज़ जीरो एंड वट इज़ योर कॉज जीरो दैट इज़ वन सो कहीं ना कहीं ये जो फंक्शन है ये जो ग्राफ है ये एक पॉइंट पे आके कॉमन है इज़ पाई बाई फोर पे आके कॉमन हो जाता है सो so उससे पहले कुछ डिक्रीजिंग है उससे पहले कुछ इंक्रीजिंग है सो यू जस्ट हैव टू अप्लाई द मॉडुलस बेसिकली जैसे आपने इस रूट को हटाया आपको मॉडुलस अप्लाई करना सा सो दैट वुड बी पाई बाय सिक्स से पाई बाय फोर प्लस पाई बाय फोर टू पाई बाय सिक्स ओके नॉलेज सी कौन सा आएगा मुझे पता है ये ग्राफ कौन सा है दिस ग्राफ बिलोंग्स टू योर कॉस एक्स एंड दिस ग्राफ बिलोंग्स टू योर साइन एक्स मतलब कि जब कॉस एक्स डिक्रीज कर रहा है तब साइन एक्स इंक्रीज कर रहा है बेसिकली सो दैट वुड बी जस्ट एक माइनस आउटसाइड दिस ओके सो दैट इज गोइंग टू बी योर कॉस एक्स माइनस साइन एक्स और जब आपका साइन एक्स इंक्रीज कर रहे हैं कॉस एक्स डिक्रीज कर रहे हैं सो दैट इज गोइंग टू बी सिंपली योर साइन एक्स माइनस कॉस एक्स सिंपल इंटीग्रेशन था एंड सिंप्लीफाई करना था इसको इट वॉज अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन नीदर एनी ऑफ द ह्यूज फॉर्मला इज गोइंग टू बी एप्लीकेबल कॉस एक्स का इंटीग्रल आई थिंक सबको पता है साइन एक्स का इंटीग्रल भी सबको पता होगा यहाँ पर सो इफ आई जस्ट सी कॉस एक्स का इंटीग्रल क्या होगा बेटा आपका साइन एक्स और माइनस साइन एक्स का क्या होता है बेसिकली आपका इट वुड बी योर प्लस कॉस एक्स एंड लिमिट इज पाई बाय सिक्स से पाई बाय फोर सिमिलरली ओवर हेड साइन एक्स का इंटीग्रल क्या हो जाएगा इट वुड बी माइनस कॉस एक्स एंड कॉस एक्स का साइन एक्स एंड इंटीग्रल क्या है पाई बाय फोर से पाई बाय सिक्स प्लीज सॉल्व इट योर सेल्फ इट वॉज अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन टू बी डन नॉट अ हैवी कैलकुलेशन नॉट एट ऑल ओके सो लेट्स मूव अ हेड वन मूव अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन बट या इन दिस यू जस्ट हैव टू यूज योर पैरामेट्रिक इक्वेशन सो दैट यू कैन सिंप्लीफाई द क्वेश्चन वेरी ईजीली so distance of 2 comma 4 from a line 2x plus y plus 2 equals to 0 measured parallel to the line this let's take the uh, point as 2 comma 4 and we have to obtain this equation of a line this is the line 2x plus y plus 2 equals to 0 and there is one more line which is parallel from this point which is your 3x plus y plus 2 equals to 0 so now with me solve it and just sing the song kadam kadam badhaye ja khushi ke geet gaaye ja hum je mains ke paper aise hi solve karte rahe so now first of all what is the slope for this equation the slope for this equation is going to be your basically minus 2 because y is equals to mx plus c so i'm just going to arrange it as y is equals to mx plus c and i will simply get my uh, slope Similarly, the slope for this equation is going to be y is equals to minus root three. So for slope, this is also going to be y is equals to minus root three. I hope this much would be clear. Now we just simply have to obtain this equation of line. I can just name it as P Q. So now to obtain P Q, it would be basically your x minus two upon, and that would be basically the theta that I wanted to take. so the uh, by that formula it would be basically your cos theta that is equals to y minus 4 sin theta and that is equals to your r now what is your theta since we got the slope over here as root minus root 3 so i can simply say that my tan theta is equals to minus root 3 that means your theta is equals to 
degree in the second quadrant so now what is cos 120 degree that is what we have to obtain so it would be x minus 2 now simply your cos 120 is going to be minus 1 upon 2 and y minus 4 sin 120 is going to be root 3 over 2 which is equals to r now just obtain your value of x and y that means this point would be basically whatever we are going to get x and y in terms of r and just put the, in this equation and you will get your answer it is that simple that is just your parallel lines if you want you can do it by a distance formula also but it's going to complicate a lot okay so now uh, what is the value of x you are going to get from here that is 1 by 2 r plus 2 and for y it's going to be root 3 over 2 plus 4 x sorry r sorry yeah minus 1 over 2 r plus 2 and root 3 over 2 r plus 4 just keep this value over here and you will get your answer it's that much simple so that would be 2 2 into uh, x was minus 1 upon 2 r plus 2 uh, the, okay then we were on uh, plus y was your root 3 upon 2 r plus 4 and then plus 2 equals to 0 just simplify it so 2 and 2 cancel minus r plus 4 plus root 3 upon 2 r plus 6 is equals to 0 so it is going to make your 10 uh, so this implies 10 is equals to r minus root 3 over 2 r yeah so you just have to obtain the value of r basically from here so it's going to be uh, 10 2 minus root 3 and just make it 20 is equals to your r and that is going to be your answer it was simple question there was no complication being involved in this it was a very simple and an easy peasy question i would say yes it was a little lengthy and even you can make it little lengthy by obtaining many more things like um i, I don't know why i have obtained this slope but i have done that uh, but right now there is there was no use of this slope basically there was only use of this slope while i was while i was solving the question i almost carried three to four approaches so yeah for this question i have changed my approach two times so i can say that yes it was a little lengthy as a student also it would have taken me at least to solve uh, six to seven minutes so it was a lengthy one from my side if i would be a student i would solve this question in the end now it's an easy question and it is uh, from your previous year questions bank only it was there i think in 2020 it was there so yes it was a simple one but the change was it was just air with a is equal to one two three there was no four now the four has been involved even for this question i would say it was something which i would have done once my full paper is done so a is equals to sorry a is equals to one two three four minimum number of elements added to make it equivalence relation on set a containing one three and one two in it so a would first of all what do you mean by equivalence that means reflexive symmetric and positive all of them should be followed so first of all one one uh, two two three three and four four that means it is going to be reflexive like this so these elements are going to be there now since one three is there one two is there just try to make a symmetric also so this first symmetric it's going to be three one it's going to be two one done with one concept more now the next would be your okay so we got reflexive we got symmetric okay now we can even have your okay let me just think for this point I, because i have listed all the all all of them in one paper yeah three two and then two three okay yeah so now if if i just see about all the equivalence so yes three one so one three was there two one so one two was there three two so two three was also there okay done even if i see three 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 one so one three was there okay like this also you have to satisfy in a similar manner if i just see two 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 one so 1, 2 is also going to be there. Yes, it's there. So yes, it's going to satisfy your reflexive, symmetric and transitive. So therefore, how many uh, number of elements are going to be there? In total, there are going to be 8 number of elements that are going to be minimum. Minimum 8 number of elements are to be there. Okay. Now moving ahead, it was one of the most difficult question I would say. 
in all times yes it is uh, amongst the difficult questions it is time consuming if i would be a student i would solve this in the end eight identical books uh, eight identical books are to be kept in four identical shelves now books bhi ek jaisi hai and shelves bhi ek jaisi hai so yahan pe mere paas cases banenge and mujhe mere cases properly count karne padenge find the number of different ways this can be done so in the first case ya to meri eight ki eight books ek hi shelf pe ho aur in sab pe zero ho so this is going to be your first case in the second case main kya kar rahi hu main in dono ko zero kar dungi aur sirf in dono ke andar books rakh deti hu so first is 7 1 second would be your 6 2 third would be your uh, 5 3 then fourth would be your 4 4 okay ये सब ब्लैंक है रिमेंबर आइडेंटिकल शेल्स हैं यहाँ पर सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू राइट थ्री फाइव बिकॉज इट्स गोइंग टू बी वन एंड द सेम थिंग सो इन टोटल ये मेरे पास कितने ये मेरे पास फोर आएगा ये मेरे पास वन आ गया नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग जब मैं तीन के अंदर बुक्स रखूंगी तीन शेल्स के अंदर एंड वन वुड बी ब्लैंक सो लेट्स स्टार्ट डूइंग दैट एज वेल सो दैट वुड बी योर सिक्स वन वन फाइव टू वन आफ्टर फाइव टू वन इट वुड बी फोर थ्री वन आफ्टर फोर थ्री वन इट्स गोइंग टू बी ऑल्सो फोर टू टू जीरो आफ्टर फोर टू टू जीरो इट्स गोइंग टू बी इवन योर थ्री नाउ वी जस्ट हैव टू अरेंज फाइव बेसिकली सो थ्री थ्री टू जीरो सो इन टोटल दिस इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी योर फाइव नाउ देर इज वन मोर केस वेन इन ऑल द शेल्फ आई एम गोइंग टू कीप द बुक्स so that would be first case would be 5 1 1 then it would be your 4 2 1 1 then 3 3 1 1 then 3 2 2 1 and in the end it's going to be 2 2 2 2 so this also going to be 5 and yes this question was something which is going to is you take your time because i have applied each and everything but only this approach is going to be the correct approach for solving such question and your answer is going to be 15 so for such things i will request you that please do this question in the end because yes in making the like in because i have for because i don't have any pressure in my mind first of all of the paper so i was just relaxing and I, then i solved the question so it was easy for me to solve it in one go but for you people you people have to try it multiple time then only you will be able to get the correct answers okay since the 16 uh, i just asked one of my students the 16 was not in the option so since 16 is not in the option so it's become very easy to mark the answer as 15 so that was also a plus point that was given by the um jains means educators okay like whosoever has said the paper basically now the next question it says that a1 a2 are in gp such that a1 is equals to 1 by 8 and a1 is not equals to a2 and every term is equal to the arithmetic mean of its two successive terms what it means it actually means that a is equals to ar plus ar square you know because every term is equals to arithmetic means of its two successive terms so for such we can take this condition and when we are taking this condition and when we are taking this condition let's cancel out a first of all so we are just going to get one is equals to r plus r square so now so now so now one is equals to r plus r square that is going to be r square Plus r minus one is equals to zero. So now let's solve this out. I will not be able to solve like this. Class, what is? I'm in the YouTube video right now. Huh? Video? What's the issue? Can you? I'm. Re it's getting recorded. I can't even delete it. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Someone was there at my door. I got distracted. That where were I? Yeah. Okay. I just uh, okay. So it would be uh, basically two a is equals to a r plus a r square. So it would be your two a. Sorry. Yeah. Now I'm normal. Every term is equals to arithmetic mean of its two successive term. So that is two a is equals to a r plus a r square. So that is two is equals to r plus r square. So that is r square plus r minus two is equals to zero. Just solve it out and you will get the value of r basically. So r square plus two r minus r. Okay, I can just take it as. 
आर स्क्वायर प्लस टू आर टू इज इक्व टू जीरो वो की जस्ट गिव मी अ मिनट आई थिंक आई हैव डन समथिंग रॉन्ग ओवर हेयर ओके इट्स करेक्ट फ्रॉम माय साइड ओके आई थिंक आई हैव जस्ट फॉरगेट सम स्टेप या सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी योर बेसिकली आर लेट्स टेक योर आर एस कॉमन आर प्लस टू माइनस वन ओके इट्स वॉज एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट आई डोंट नो वाई आई वॉज टक एट सम पॉइंट ओके इट वॉज एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट सो लेट्स टेक योर आर कॉमन सो इट वुड बी आर प्लस टू माइनस वन आर प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो आर प्लस टू इन टू आर माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो आर इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू एंड वन एंड नाउ आई गॉट माई आंसर फॉर आर बिट दैट इज द आई गॉट माई आंसर फॉर द कॉमन रेशियोज सो नाउ एज आई गॉट द आंसर फॉर कॉमन रेशियोज दैट इज टू एंड माइनस टू एंड वन नाउ आई कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस एक्सप्रेशन एंड For this, if you want, you can even write s twenty minus s nineteen plus s nineteen minus s eighteen. Yes, it's going to give you a very simplified version because you know it is equal. Hoga, ye aapke equal hoga. Basically, your t twenty and this would be equals to your t nineteen. Now it's easy to solve. Ye hamara GP hi hai, aur GP mein formula kya tha? T n ka. The formula for that is a r n minus one. So what is a? That is one by two. और मेरे पास यहाँ पे r क्या होगा सिंस आई नो दैट a1 वन इज नॉट इक्वल्स टू ए टू सो दे फोर आर जो है वो वन हो ही नहीं सकता r क्या होगा सिर्फ माइनस टू ही होगा क्लियर कि r1 नहीं हो सकता बिकॉज अगर ऑब्वियसली अगर मेरा r1 हो गया दैट मीन्स जो मेरा a1 और a2 क्या होगा वो इक्वल हो जाएगा एंड आई डोंट वॉन्ट देम इक्वल आई वॉन्ट देम अन इक्वल सो दैट्स वाई योर आर इज गोइंग टू बी माइनस टू सो इट वुड बी वन बाई टू माइनस टू की पावर नाइनटीन प्लस वन बाई एट इन टू वन बाई टू की पावर एटीन सो दैट वुड बी वन बाय एट माइनस टू की पावर एटीन सो वट यू आर लेफ्ट विद माइनस टू प्लस वन सो दैट वुड बी बेसिकली इवन है तो ऑब्वियसली माइनस कैन बी डिलीटेड सो इट वुड बी टू की पावर फिफ्टीन इन टू माइनस वन एंड दैट इज माइनस टू की पावर फिफ्टीन एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी योर आंसर एंड नाउ टू की पावर फिफ्टीन कैन बी डन योर सेल्फ इट इज योर विश ओके आई होप एंड जितना मुझे याद है जितने मेरे पास रिस्पॉन्स आया है आई थिंक ऑप्शन में भी टू की पावर कुछ गिवन ही था सो येस दिस इज गोइंग टू बी योर करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन एंड आई होप ये आंसर क्वेश्चन भी एक्जैक्टली ऐसा ही आया था बिकॉज वन ऑफ माई चाइल्ड टोल्ड मी दिस क्वेश्चन एंड ही टोल्ड मी कि मैम ऐसा ही कुछ क्वेश्चन था एंड इवन द ऑप्शन वर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ टू की पावर एन ओनली सो येस आई होप दैट दिस वॉज द ओनली वे द क्वेश्चन वॉज गिवन टू यू पीपल नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन it was one of the most simplest question that uh, your uh, your vectors your vectors can have it and uh, even j means in in the j means paper it has come so it is very tremendous to see it that such kinds of easy questions are also coming in your paper okay so now if p q and r are the vertices of a triangle p q r so this is a triangle that we have this is p this is q this is r uh the vertices are 3 2 3 4 6 2 7 3 two are the vertices of triangle pqr then find the angle of qpr basically we have to find this so firstly let's find your pq vector so that is going to be your 4 minus 3 i cap that is 1 i cap plus 4 j cap minus k cap and qr no let's find it out pr vector so pr vector is going to be 7 minus 3 4 i cap 3 minus 2 j cap and 2 minus 3 k cap now let's just find your cos theta and you are done with the work so cos theta would be pq vector into pr vector upon magnitude of pq vector into magnitude of pr vector so that is going to be your 4 minus 1 Four plus four plus one upon magnitude will be your four cos square sixteen sixteen plus two eighteen root eighteen so it is going to be your simply four plus four eight eight plus one nine upon eighteen that is one by two or ham sab koi pata hai ki cos theta kab hota hai one by two when it is equals to your sixty degree or you can say pi upon three I think the answer was in the form of pi only. So yes, your correct answer is pi upon three. It was an amazing question. It was a simple question. It can be done in sixty seconds. Simply, it can be done in sixty seconds. That is one minute. Simple. 
uh, it is also one of the easiest question not so much difficult if log a log b and log c are in ap what do you mean by saying ap that is 2 log b is equals to log a plus log c so it can be log b square is equals to log a into c so that is basically b square is equals to ac now since we have come into this situation we can come just say that this is nothing but this forms our gp so since this form our gp so let's rearrange this i can just write this as uh, log a upon 2 sorry log a upon 2b log 2b upon 3c and ln 3c upon a these are also in ap and since we know that b square is equals to ac so we can simply write this in the form of gp so that is going to be 2b upon 3c ka whole square is equals to your 3c upon a into a upon 2b just simplify it and it would be your 4b square upon 9c square is equal to 3c upon 2a simplify cross multiply so that is going to give you b square okay okay it would be 2b basically so b cube into upon c cube is equal to 3 into 9 is 27 and 2 into uh, 4 is 8 so that means simple your b upon c is your 3 upon 2 now we just have to find a b c since we know that a b c are in gp so i can just write it in the form of 1 is to 3 is to sorry 1 is to r is to r square so now since we know r kya hota hai c upon b hoga so that is 2 upon 3 basically so 1 is to 2 upon 3 is to 4 upon 9 take the lcm it would be 9 is to 6 is to 4 and yes this is going to be your answer a very simple question to be correct i hope it must be clear to all of you oh so we are done with the question it was a simple uh, thing to do in in only 42 minutes i have discussed all the questions so i can say out of uh, like uh, you can easily attempt out of 25 questions you can easily attempt at least 18 to 20 questions can be easily done for you people it was not at all a difficult task and i hope that many of you must have done that even so yes congratulations kids i hope your target has been achieved you will be surely able to get a good rank in for your iit admissions or whatever colleges you want to go so all the best and yes stay tuned in on my channel only because i'm going to upload many more videos of your past year papers and your conception knowledge as well so thank you so much bye bye you all please like and subscribe my channel